After seeing the latest Dying Light 2 gameplay footage, many fans expressed their concern over the HUD and health bars above the enemies. But I've also seen a lot of people who are worried that the nighttime gameplay looks much brighter than the original game. Well, it certainly does look brighter in the footage, but I think that there's a few other factors to consider here. So I want to show you a few observations I've made after closer inspection and to compare it to Dying Light 1 to see if there really is any noticeable difference between them. It seems that some people were too scared to go out after dark in the first game, so a brighter night would probably make those players feel happier. However, there are many who feel that the whole point was to feel scared as the light died, as that's literally the name of the game, and they're worried that now uh, that might have been lost in Dying Light 2. But let me point out a key thing here that you may not have noticed. When you freeze this image, you notice some long shadows being cast on the ground, and again here when Aiden is running away. Now there's no street lights in this street, so there must be a light source that's too high to see in this frame. Of course, that light source is a full moon, and it's no wonder, when you know that, that everything looks so bright, especially as Aiden's flashlight is on too, so it could well be that some nights will be darker than others in Dying Light 2. Also, when you drop into an area hidden from the moonlight, you can see that it is much darker here until the flashlight flickers on, and that's another factor to consider here. Now I would argue that this flashlight is actually weaker than the one in the original game, which in my opinion was too bright and it actually hurts your eyes after a while. Okay, so let's have a look now at how dark the nights are in Old Town in the original game. They certainly start off pretty dark, but in actual fact it doesn't take long for the moon to start rising, and as it does, the sky and pretty much everything under it becomes noticeably brighter. When the moon reaches its full height, the sky literally pops from one shade to another, and when facing away from the moon, you can really see the difference as the environment almost goes from night to day in a few seconds. Looking around now, you can clearly see the shadows cast from vehicles and trees, etc., as the moon makes its speedy cycle across the sky. And again, here, I think the shadows are more pronounced than in Dying Light 2, and with the light from the flashlight, you can see that the original game isn't really that much darker than the sequel here. Another thing to consider here is that the Dying Light 2 preview demo was designed to showcase as many elements of the game as possible, and to make it accessible to journalists that may have found it too difficult or scary had it been set up to be very dark. Now I'm pretty sure Techland want everybody to see what's on the streets of Villador, and especially at night. I mean, if it was pitch black, then of course nobody would be able to see any of this detail. So let's consider that the gamma settings for the demo have been turned up for this reason, and then go back to Old Town and crank up the gamma settings there too. After going into the options and turning it up a bit, you can see how much brighter this image is now, especially with the flashlight on. And if you turn it up even further, it looks just like daylight here now when looking around. Now, you can see that the zombie has stopped in her tracks and is looking up at the sky, and that's because there is a rain cloud rolling in. And that brings me to the final factor, and that is the weather cycles. Uh, you can see that it gets very dark when the cloud comes over, and I'm pretty sure we haven't seen any weather elements in Dying Light 2 yet, at least at night anyway, so again, this could turn the streets of Villador much darker than what we saw in the demo. I would be very surprised if the final game didn't feature weather cycles on top of the day and night cycles. I mean, that was one of the most beautiful features of Dying Light, and if they can make a sunrise look this good back in 2015, then I'm pretty sure we'll get some glorious vistas in Dying Light 2. So in summary, I really don't think we've got anything to worry about when it comes to how dark the nights are going to be in this sequel. I'm sure the reason the demo was so bright was just to showcase everything there is to see in the game. After all, Tetland are trying to sell this game to us, and they really want us to love what we've seen. I'm convinced that the night time in Dying Light 2 will still provide plenty of scares, but of course, you can't please everybody, and ultimately, there will always be people that aren't satisfied with the end result. So that's it really for this short video, and I hope these observations are on the right track, and if you enjoyed it, then please don't forget to leave a like, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers!